YouTube, what is going on? Jello here bringing you another MLB The Show 20 video. This time, episode 16 of our ABC series. We're almost done. Almost done. Episode 16, letter P. A lot of people on my live stream yesterday were telling me packs because I think all of you are pack addicts. But no, we did the opening packs for the letter O. The letter P, we're going to go over pitchers. The top 10 pitchers. As you know, tomorrow we'll have the live stream and they're gonna go over the new six inning bosses. Uh, obviously, we covered that a few videos ago, but it includes one of the best pitchers that's gonna be coming out in the game. A lot of people consider him to be end game and that is signature series, Greg Maddox. We're gonna go over the top 10 starting pitchers. We're also gonna give you a, a list of the top four or five relievers in the game. Uh, so that's gonna be basically a top 15 pitcher, basically, but top 10 starting pitchers. We're gonna see where Greg Maddox is gonna fit in. My projection as far as like where he's gonna fit in there. In my live stream, I get a lot of people asking me questions about the starting rotation. Who should they add? Who should they not? So hopefully this video helps out some of you there to just finish your rotation. Everybody has their, their one, two, maybe three favorites, but they don't know what to do with that fourth and fifth spot. So hopefully my ranking help you out as far as like managing your starting rotation before we get into all of that make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't done so already just hit 1400 i appreciate you guys make sure to keep hitting that thumbs up let's get this video to at least 40 likes that's gonna be the best way to show your support and make sure you click on that bell to make sure the notifications are on but let's get started episode 16 that will be the show series abc's top 10 pictures all right, so here's my rotation. I'm actually still going with Kluber, Hershiser, Carewood, Outlider, and James Paxton. James Paxton came out last week with the player of the month. Very solid card so far. All the pitches that you need, fastball, sinker, cutter. He has a knuckle curve and a changeup. So very solid. Hershiser is still one of the best as well. Corey Kluber is Corey Kluber. Carewood, surprisingly, not surprisingly, if you can control him, he's gonna be the best pitcher, but we'll get to that. And then Outlider is gonna be my fifth. All right, so we are gonna start at number 10. I have Roy Oswald coming in at number 10. Obviously, there's a little bit of a difference between the 93 and the 95. Getting him prestige, I just got him prestige due to the events, but prestige Roy Oswald can get that fastball to 99. He has a sinker 96, 97. It's okay. The per nines are not the best, but having that sinker, he has a very nice delivery. Control is there. Nice pitch repertoire. I've been, I've been, I mean, I did very good with the 93. So he comes in at number 10 for me. That prestige version is still very good. That sinker coming is coming in very hot. At number nine, we do have Nick Lodolo, which is still in a lot of people's rotations because the card is very solid. Free card that you can get from the stage two team affinities. Sinker slider combination. Lefty with a very weird, kind of like awkward arm, ang arm angle. It can be a little bit difficult to read the pitches. So Niglo Dolo comes in at number nine. I mean, honestly, it's like a little bit of a toss up between him, Outlider, uh, Cole Hamels, Paxton. So I have them all bunched in here. I put him at number nine just because he has four pitches and, and not ahead of the others. But However, at number eight, I do have Cole Hamels, uh, which I don't have on my rotation, but I have him right here. Cole Hamels, um, very solid card. Again, that cutter may be the best cutter in the game. It moved so much, comes in at an angle that it just makes it move a whole lot. I'm not sure if that sweeping curve was a slider, he would be that much better. Obviously, it's a little bit of slow of a pitch and he tends to hang, uh, but circle change is nasty. Fastball can touch 95, 96. That cutter is the pitch. Spam the cutter, mixing it in with that two seamer, using it kind of like a sinker, and he's gonna be very effective. Solid per nines across the board, 96 overall. Cole Hamels. I think he's a little bit better than Lodolo because of that. Now he's coming in at number eight, but we have at number seven, we do have Al Lighter. Stage three team affinity Al Lighter, 97 overall. Again, sinker cutter combination, solid per nines. He just doesn't throw hard enough. That's the only problem with Outlider. But he has the pitches you want, the control, the easy delivery that is actually very important for me as far as the pitcher. Easy to control. You're going to be able to dot. That curveball is slow enough where you can throw off the hitters a lot if you use it. The slider, I don't really use a whole lot. It's only three mile an hour difference from the cutter. So it, there's not much of a difference. 
you gotta mix in the sinker cutter that four seam at the end that's the pitch that some pitches we'll get to that later hershizer but uh that pitch is, is needed you need that four seam some people are going to be sitting on that sinker and you sneak that four seam in coming in at 94 to 96 it's going to get some people to either swing late or get them off their game so i do have outlier coming in at number seven very close number six i do have james paxton uh again new james paxton came out last week he has that four seam 97 and 99 knuckle curve i wish that was a slider but he has a cutter sinker cutter combination change up this car is very it was actually very easy to control it says 82 it felt like it was a little bit higher uh, i had no issues controlling uh this packs and so honestly very solid card again lodolo lighter hamels paxton i have them all in the same kind of like the same bunch in the same group it's based on your preference as far as like who you like what kind of your what's your favorite weight uh to pitch uh but i do have paxton a little bit ahead of the others because of the combination uh because of the per nines he throws a little bit harder than others so i have james paxton coming in at number six now at number five we're coming into the top five this one not a lot of, a lot of people are gonna have you saw me getting him in one of our 12 and 0 runs but the only problem i have him at number five i'm taking into consideration the price it's just too expensive um we a lot of people saw the 90 overall so he's not a surprise right not a lot of pitch differential as far as like from the forcing cutter sinker it's all about the same between 93 and 96 but he does have that sinker cutter combination with a slurf and a splitter honestly the best pitches you can have in the game uh this was very tough i i, I think he can sneak into the top three but it just i haven't used him as much and i haven't faced him as much to put him there again he's very expensive being a flawless reward per nines great all across the board obviously the salmon you're gonna see pitchers that are gonna have 115 110 so this pitcher is probably gonna start getting tired like around 80 90 pitches is gonna start seeing they're gonna start seeing him uh uh well uh but everything else is what you need on a pitcher i don't recommend spending 300,000 stubs on a pitcher however if you have enough stubs if you like having all the cars if you're a detroit tigers fan go get your uh casey mice i mean he's worth it obviously he's worth it as far as like his talent and what he can do on the field i don't think he's worth 300,000 stubs no pitcher is unless on the 28th they give us a pedro martinez or randy johnson that's for another day anyways but casey mice coming in at number five then a number four we'll go back to our rotation because this card has been insane for me and i'm not the best pitcher i'll tell you that right now carrie wood that k per nines that hits per nines stamina like i was saying 10 uh, more than casey mice he comes in at number four i wish he had outlier but if you get him prestige it's about the same as outlier he's gonna be he, i mean he, right now he can hit 101 um I've seen him hit 102, but it was just one. So constantly 99 to 100. You get in prestige, velocity gets to 99. He's going to be throwing 100 constantly with uh, more 102s there. The slurf is disgusting. The slurf is probably his best pitch to pitch out of uh, off of that full forcing fastball. People are going to be gearing up for that fastball. He has a curve. Curve are not the best pitch in this game, but he's still solid enough. Changeup can throw people off with that 82 mile an hour change up it's almost 20 mile an hour difference from the four seam the cutter is the pitch you want this cutter moves and it's a 10 mile an hour difference from the four seamer people are going to be off balance again the control is his issue if you can control him the first two three innings that confidence gets up that meter can get big and you're going to be dotting with him and dotting with this card can be almost impossible to hit especially at the legend difficulty i have carrie wood coming in at number four if you saw uh our stage three video that i did with movie gaming i had him uh, as my second best pitcher behind or her he has not disappointed um doesn't have a sinker but he's still that good coming in at number three talking about her we do have or her he is just as advertised right or her size have been very solid for me he has that stamina 118 he can go all game very solid per nines very solid control obviously the velo is not there but this card can get prestige so that sinker at 93 94 it hits 95 or it can hit when you get him prestige that velo gets to 86 
which means that sinker is gonna be constantly a 95 96 which is a, i mean two or three mile an hour difference is a, it's a big deal when it comes to a sinker so sinker cutter combination very slow curbo in the low 70s slow change up in the high 70s he had a slider the slider is not a very effective pitch i don't really use it that much i like using the cutter a lot more but or her size sir for me still the number two pitcher in the game i think for a fact greg matt is going to be a little bit better than him um however he's still very good he should be on everyone's rotation he's free to get based on the on how you can acquire him on the stage three team affinities so free to get if not you can obviously buy him off the market but he should be on everyone's rotation very easy to control very easy delivery to use especially if you're using an analog analog uh, pitching but he comes in at number three because at number two we have the guy that has been the best pitcher in the game all year Corey kluber there's nothing else to say about Corey kluber uh, he's gonna be probably end game sinker cutter slurf is disgusting the per nines are amazing just all around everything that you need on a pitcher basically the same as casey mice uh as far as pitch repertoire and it, he has all you need he doesn't have the splitter he does have a changeup, which can be very effective his delivery that pitch come that sinker comes in hot um corey kluber is corey kluber a lot of people i mean the problem with corey kluber is that we've seen him for so long that a lot of people already figure him out uh, but you're still going to face people that cannot figure him out because he is that good. Why is it not number one? Well, we had new flawless rewards that came out. And uh, I think this card is the best card in the game right now or the best pitcher in the game. That is Bob Feller. Same with Casey Mice. His price is just out of control. Obviously, he just came out two days ago. But Bob Feller looks insane i cannot wait to try this card or face him i want to face him 123 stamina you go all day 124 k per nines 100 uh hits per nines walks per nines is at 63 but control is at 85 you're gonna be able to control him he has a sinker that hits 95 probably 96 97 but the key is the quirk he does have outlier in that fastball he's going to be throwing 102 miles an hour with that curve at 78 slider in mid 80s change up in the low 80s and that sinker i mean he may be the best card he doesn't have a cutter but he does have outlier and that's the difference between him and uh Corey kluber i think that outlier is game changing especially in the higher difficulties again is he worth half a million stubs? No. If you go 12 and 1 and you already have 2 million stubs, you don't need to buy him. Even better, add him because he's going to be nasty, especially because not everybody's going to have him. So everybody has Corey Kluber. Like I was saying, a lot of people think or already figure him out. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to figure out Bob Feller because there's not going to be as many as Corey Kluber. So yeah he looks insane he looks insane let me know down on the comment section below if you agree with the list what do you agree with what don't you agree with who did i left out who would you take out to add let me know now before we we're done with the starting pitcher but i do want to talk about the relievers as well let's go to our bullpen i have the best arms basically in the game i do have coming in at number four for me i'm gonna give you the top four there's a four left four headed monsters right I do have a number four. I do have Mariano. I don't have him prestige yet. I think I'm very close to it. Mariano is, is good. He's a good reliever. He's just not better than the others for me. All the pitches. I mean, cutter, four seam, and sinker. They all come in hot. Um, per nines are very good. It's just, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I, I can have a great outing, but then I run into something. I have two or three bad outings. Um, I thought he would be better. I wanted him to be better. I wish he had outlier, especially if he could have outlier in the fastball or cutter. I know he wasn't throwing 102 when he played, but that wouldn't make a big difference for him. I think that's the reason why he comes in at number four. Uh, again, solid card. If you can get him, get him. Depend I mean, if your uh, bullpen is weak, obviously he's a good arm to add. Uh, coming in at number three, I do have Raleigh Fingers ahead of him. The three-quarter delivery is what, what gets it. He has a very good sinker. That fork ball is very good. He can throw hitters off balance. Slider is disgusting. The per nines are up there with Mariano as well. 
uh but i think it's a little bit tougher to read uh when i face him I'm, uh it's uh, i have a harder time hitting raleigh than mariano and i think my opponents do as well when i use him i'm more effective with him than with mariano um again this card is free mariano is not so if you had to pick and you haven't done collections go ahead and get raleigh fingers and sell mariano right collections is obviously the main goal in the game for me and then everything else comes in but at number two i do have all these chapman coming in at number two obviously we know about a chapman outlier in the fastball outlier in the sinker throwing it at 102 sinker coming in at 98 change up slider the best per nice you can have obviously the control is not it's not there um if you can control him he's gonna be disgusting he's nasty he's the best lefty reliever we're probably gonna have in the game he's probably gonna be end game um there's not a lot of bad things i can say about him there's really not he's he's that good the only reason why i don't have him on number one is because of this guy rob Dibble. for me i don't know what it is but he's insane 102 obviously he has outlier in that fastball he comes in at 102 he has that slider in the low 80s low to mid 80s and that cutter it just throws hitters off balance that when that cutter comes in it feels like he just stops wait for the hitter to swing and then it keeps moving rob devil for me is the best pitcher in the game uh, he's disgusting i feel super comfortable using him i think the longer wind up it actually helps uh kind of throw the hitter off balance as well but again him and chapman are right there this is the best uh right-handed reliever chapman is the best left-handed reliever they're right there point flip honestly but i take Debo a little bit uh i'm gonna take Debo over chapman just because he's a righty um and it's just he's just that good he's just he's been that good for me since day one uh but there's no wrong answer when it comes to both of them again this is my rotation this is my bullpen they're a little bit tired i've been on a slump trying to get to world series i cannot hit consistently i don't know what's going on so i cannot pitch so obviously i've been using the pen a lot uh but we'll get there we'll get there again top 10 pitchers i'll give you the starting pitchers with a little bit of a bonus on the relievers now some uh some honorable mentions from the starters i did wanted to mention um how new hauser is not there for me we've seen him since day one he doesn't have a sinker he doesn't have a cutter he's just not gonna be that good sad granky is okay they changed his delivery um so he's not as good as last year uh, so i don't really don't really like him i haven't tried out this J aj burnett yet but i faced him and he was very tough to hit so i do want to try him out now uh dustin may is very good dustin may is a very good card as you can see per nine is there he doesn't have the stamina but he has a sinker cutter again change up i gotta use him more i haven't used him as much so i may put him back in the road in the rotation because he has a little bit of a funky delivery uh but he almost cracked for me the top 10 he was a world series reward a few uh a few seasons back uh you darvish from the event is actually very solid they gave him the sinker cutter combination fastball slider and then he has that slow curve um walks per nine is kind of low but he, he should be easy to control haven't used him yet just got him uh he looks very good i think dustin may is still a little bit better i actually faced him on legend uh playing a friendly uh yesterday uh, and it was tough to hit he was tough to hit easy to control pitches move a lot that cutter actually moves a lot of coming kind of hot mid 90s for a cutter is very very good um again i think that's about it i don't have i don't really like uh anybody else to crack the 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 10 this johnny cuero has a sinker cutter combination uh with the changeup you basically get it for free i think you get it for making 700s in the previous rank season so or in this one so honestly he's still good again felix hernandez is another guy that i don't he this felix hernandez he always looks better than what he is i don't know what it is but yeah he can be better he can be better but that will do it for me let me know again down on the comment section below what do you agree with what don't you agree with let me know again i appreciate you guys watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did subscribe to the channel again if you haven't done so already make sure you're hitting that thumbs up notifications on by clicking the bell hope you guys enjoyed episode 16 i'm up with the show series abc's this is daniel i'll check you out on the next one i'm out